In societies around the world, the table is the center of life. It's where families come together. It's where food is enjoyed, no matter the surface. The table is a place to celebrate stories from the past and even consider difficulties of the day. When you come, you come taste the fullness of flavors and smell aromas signature to the culture. Laughter, tears, joy, and friendship. It all happens at the table. You know what, well, back at home, the weather is perfect year round. Everything is fresh in Nigeria. You get everything fresh. You know, I have this small garden area in my backyard. I have some fresh vegetable from, that you can get in Nigeria that you can get here. So I have it, I have it here. You know, but you know, during the winter season, it, you know, you can, you can, you know, it gets bad. So I do miss having fresh vegetables. Add some spinach in here now. That goes with the goosey. I, I definitely enjoy cooking. Definitely, it's you know, I, I can cook for the whole Detroit Lion. <laughs> I can. The goosey is ready. Did you just see that? The plantain will be gone. So that's why it's better to fry your plantain last, so they don't come get it <laughs> before the food is ready. <laughs> And <laughs> really brown, that's the right word. <laughs> Look at him too. Like father, like son. <laughs> that's what they do when they are hungry. Let me say roughly 20 minutes. It's, 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 it's almost there. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead. That's what you all do. You, got, you all do that. <laughs> That is exactly what happened. Go ahead, go ahead. That's, that's what happened. They would just come picking. You would end up making more. <laughs> I love being in the kitchen, but you know what? I still find it difficult to go to this grocery store and just shop for me and my husband sometimes. Or when I go to church, I'm going to church by myself. Like, like I, I, there's this lady in church, she has four kids, just like me, I'm like, she was like, she was kept, she just holding them and everything. I said, enjoy it. Enjoy it. They come into church with you now. Enjoy it for real. <laughs> yeah, I, I miss those. I, I do miss it. Now that Romeo and Julian are all grown up, living on their own in Detroit, what once was a daily routine of preparing dinner for a full family has now become a rare occurrence. Tonight is truly a special occasion and it makes me so happy to be here visiting from Charlotte cooking a traditional Nigerian meal for my boys and their teammates. Yeah, my favorite food is mom's kitchen. <laughs> I forgot how hefty Nigerian is. Yeah, I know. That's how you gain weight, for real though. That's how you gain weight. I eat two pounds of our yam. It's over. It's over with. <laughs> I actually wonder why my belly was always so big yeah. for all the kids. That's why. <laughs> yeah, that's why. Eating all them yams. <laughs> Eating all them yams. <laughs> Bro, it is crazy how many Nigerians we got on the team. Bro, seven. Got a seven. Right, that's just crazy, <laughs> bro. Both of my parents uh, born in Nigeria, so I'm first generation Nigerian. My dad's from Nigeria, so yeah, first generation. I get my mom's like. 40% Nigerian, <laughs> and the rest like Cameroon. Hey, 2.3%. <laughs> yeah, both of my parents too. My parents are his parents, so I figured, <laughs> I figured I'm first generation. In my house, you couldn't play. You couldn't play sports unless your grades were good. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think a sport was like, playing sports is like a luxury. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but school always came first. Always. Yeah, for me, I had to have above a B, so a B, a B or A, and that was it. 
or else I couldn't play sports. As a matter of fact, sports didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it was all about school. That's all that matter. That's all that matter. <laughs> Doctor, lawyer. It's doctor, doctor, lawyer, and engineer too. Big four. Right oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> Education. You cannot settle for less. The, the way in Nigeria, they do have a tutor. When you come back from school, you have a lesson teacher waiting for you. They want to be ahead of everybody in all levels. So education is very important. You go to school, get your degree, get your education, and eat good food. <laughs> you, I hope you, everybody is ready to eat this. Most, most Nigerian footballers, they do eat fufu because it gives them some kind of energy and the jollof rice. They are so strong. Because... Swallow stone. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you strong, yeah. Okay, I'm making some plantain, and plantain definitely goes with jollof rice. You can't have plantain without having jollof rice in an African home, in a Nigerian home, basically. And the kids, oh, mom, make me, when are you make jollof? I want some jollof rice. <laughs> so jollof rice is a staple in our house. Tomatoey Nigerian jollof rice, fried plantain, a goosey soup mixed with spinach, ofeako with utazu leaves and ogiri spices. And of course, pounded yam, famously called fufu. Each of these dishes has a unique taste and texture that sets the table with the essence of our culture and creates an atmosphere awakening the memories of a Nigerian home. Did y'all's par parents let you play football at first? The pool be off the middle school football team, like <laughs> mid-practice. <laughs> Showed up in the captain with the shoes, like pulled me off of the field, like, no, you're not playing. Nigerians just naturally get at soccer. <laughs> <laughs> we legit hop on trucks and then just hold on to the rail all the way to the soccer game. And then we just go out on the field, play soccer. I think it's just cool how we were able to like, just find our way back together and just like build off of this where we're like out here doing Things we never thought we'd be being football professional football players. I think it's just a crazy story where we come from different backgrounds and we're all in the same same position right now, eating food at the same table right now. Yeah, especially watching African players in the league going up like OC, I Minura mean, with the Giants. Like, like oh, like he he's Nigerian. He made it. He's on the league getting sacks. <laughs> I want to do that. <laughs> I want to do that. So like. Yeah, it's just cool to kind of like see that, that that next generation, that next wave of like Nigerians. Like, there's kids out there looking up, like looking up to us, seeing our name in the jersey, and like, oh, like that dude's Nigerian. That dude, I don't know. To the outside world, like when you go to school, like you just black. Like when you go home, you you Nigerian, you African. Like you know, your parents, your parents have an accent. In other cultures, people may just see our exterior, you just think, okay, he's just black. But there's a, there's a different culture to just black. Like, we're Nigerian, you know what I'm saying? It's a nation, it's a, there's a lot more to it. You know, people people think of Africa, and they think it's just dirt and rocks and people kick it. Like, Africa's not like that. Like, yeah. It's just like America. America has its bad places, America has its good places. Right. Africa has its bad places, Africa has its good places. You know, there are big houses in Africa. There's people doing well in Africa. There's economies doing well in Africa. And Obviously, there's some bad places as well, just like we have here. You know, just putting that out there. For me, I think like let's say I, w I would say the sounds, like I think just very busy. Like I would say, I want to say like congested, but there's a lot of like people in a small area where everybody's just trying to like hustle. Whether it's like making money to feed your family or just like selling some things on the market, trying to find some way to provide for your family. Just the same th same thing my family did coming out here to America. Um, just being able to come out here and find like some establishment for our family to build off of. Man, listen here. Real natural flavors <laughs> in the food. Good seasoning. <laughs> and y'all know how to celebrate too. <laughs> After like meeting different people from different places, like I definitely respect the culture, for sure. When we come together around the table, something very special happens. We are able to share with one another not only in the enjoyment of food before us, but also in the immense opportunity of getting to know a little more about the people next to us. <laughs>